welcome back to Asher Von Kaffin's Let's Play of Civ 4 Beyond the Sword. I am Mr. H, the co-host, and last time, lots of stuff happened. Woohoo! That it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was going to say more, but I forgot it. Yeah, improv! <laughs> also, you might be wondering, hey, I, I did a Let's Play of Civ 3, like, as my first Let's Play, and I did decent with that. What's happening with this game? Like, how come I'm so crummy? Well, the answer to that is mods. I've been playing, like I said, I played like three games in the course of it and they were all modded. So, I'm actually gonna do a single player let's play, probably on and off with this one. <laughs> well, not quite on and off, but like, if there's any, it'll be on and off if I don't have enough parts on this one, and you need a Christian temple. I do. That I do. Uh, no. Forget that. Anyways. So, if you're just meeting up with us to this day, you did not really miss all that much. Me, I'm spreading out the glorious religion of the H Alliance along, well, this fine continent here. I'd make a joke about him being a heathen. Oh my god, there is a barbarian city. <laughs> Wait, really? Where? Right there. Uh, I knew there was another city! And you called me crazy! You know, it probably spawned just there, like recently. Mm. Yeah. Although well. that will now explain why any future attacks. Yeah. Well, you I guess it's time to finally put down the science horse. We need the monies. Uh, well. Only getting five gold per turn compared to my four. Yeah. You used to be getting five compared to my minus four, five. Hmm. Although their chest is growing rapidly. That's a nice sign. Hmm. And in a couple. In one turn, its culture will expand and fight back against the former city of Fort Villa. Which the borders are becoming more Japanese than the... Than never, Allen's. Than the actual city. And if I... Very odd. Punch well, into this, it'll make it a little more... Culture. Well, hey. That it's, it city's been under Japanese control for years now. In game time, anyways. <laughs> been one part like in actual real life time yeah well game time and real life are two different things yeah you know I'd accept it if it was like Fireberg cause you know he was the per person mythically in the whole ECC thing was technically Japanese mm. <laughs> so that would make sense but why the Russian if anything, you should take that city. <laughs> I am taking that city. No, you're not taking that city. How do you know I'm not going to take that city? Well, if you're taking that city, you're giving it back to me. <laughs> hmm. You can use that as a helpful bargaining chip. Yeah, you can get gold out of me. Is that good enough? No. <laughs> hey, look at all the unhappiness. I realize that, and I am addressing this with religion and coliseums there shall be games because that really worked out really well for the emperor and the gladiator this isn't foreshadowing anything is it ooh that's weird they want that's a genius idea game that's a genius idea now I can actually go around Tokugawa cause cause Oh, because the eastern border, I have open borders with Hugo Bay. Ah, okay. Uh, Confucius Monastery? But no. Your boat would have to travel a long time, though. It's better than nothing. That there's a wall. Point taken. <laughs> Point taken. Um. But what do I want? Courthouse, maintenance. How much for a spy again? Nine. Mm. 
on this city. That would be useful, but it's more useful up north. <laughs> yep. So, we're going to go with a temple. Confucius temple. Mind you. Okay, how much culture is that expanded even? Uh, okay, we're refined, so yeah, that's going to take a while. Yep. But it's securely mine, and heck, even some sugar is mine when I get calendars, eventually. Hmm. Uh, who will discover the compass first? Will it be the mighty James? Yes. Ha ha! Uh, is a next opportunity. Okay. I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> All right. Um. Now let's see. What are they unhappy about? Population. Too like quick. Everything. It's too crowded. Uh. I like the how military most impre <laughs> presence impresses us. I like how most of that is military <laughs> presence and uh, just like enjoy game. our luxurious resources. In our religion, we trust and we just enjoy life. Why can't and there be more people are like that? Us ha happy. Why can't more people be like that? <laughs> we just enjoy life. Yep, we just enjoy life. Alright, so we have a temple coming up, and then a settler, and I'm thinking I'm bring, ah, setting the settler up to the north. the northwest. Yeah, to expand at least a bit in that way. Yep. You so we can at all. So we can we can claim the world's end as our own. <laughs> and I guess that will be it for this. Ooh, oh, let's see. Most cultured. Ha. Ha. I am probably the most cultured civilization. That's probably the only way I'd win a victory. <laughs> Culture victory. All right, well, let, let's just see if we can map this out. And this is obviously a history book produced in my, in my continent because we don't know anyone. So I'm obviously the best in my continent. In Biznak, Mark. Then I'm going to... I want to say Tokugawa. Yeah. And then Hyun and I mean, Asher. Interchangeably, for all we know. Yeah. Because I have a bunch of... Religions. <laughs> religions. This is technically still part of me. <laughs> a little bit. Just, just, a, just a little. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny and bit. And third chest is going to grow, and... The third chest's borders expand? Yes, it did. It is fledgling. And that is 43% me. <laughs> so, that corner shall eventually be mine. And the city is still somewhat me, and that's mostly Japanese, and that's 84. And yeah. that's absolute me, me to the wall. And the temple will up that, and stuff and things and stuff and stuff and so on and so forth well hmm yeah you're building a lot of farms yeah well, no, I'm building some apart oh yeah I'm building farms yeah, I'll probably build some uh, city colleges ar around through there yeah um, city colleges <laughs> I said cottages he said colleges <laughs> I will look in the recording and... And be sure to place it inside the description to show it to the world. Yep. Alright, so I have con convinced... If I remember. Or, or someone in the comments might point it out. Hopefully. You know, you could just spread it to Frankfurt and no. speed things up. But... It's gotta be through the capital city. The one that has the most influence in the most people's. Because if more people are following the religion, that means it'll be easier to convert the whole country. Yeah. Okay. And then we will have a united continent of one faith. Yeah, 35% and 24% Hindu. Well, we're doing better than Hinduism. <laughs> you might win a 
Oh, okay, you won't want a peaceful victory anytime soon. Let's put it that way. I realize I will most likely never win a peaceful victory. You need a legend city with legendary culture to do that. Yep. And I believe the highest I have is refined. If I remember correctly. Same here. Although mine usually goes fast. True. Although I you could win the game early for us and just <laughs> and just end it here. Yes, that would be awesome in its own right. But that that would be kind of anticlimactic. You yeah. get an extreme score, mind you. <laughs> that I would. Because you get a higher score the earlier you win the game. That's true. Because it assumes what could have you have done if you played all the way to the end of time. Right, I'm going to not build another worker and build a. Have to buy a ca I don't want a ca castle. Not a cathedral. I can't build a cathedral. I've already built those. <laughs> no. Well, well, technically well, you have the one and two. You can't. The, I can't. The other one is. Yeah. Alright, so I, I guess we can I guess we can build an aqueduct, make things happier. I think okay. you're, you're the only one who can also. The only one who can build aqueducts? No, um, the, the palace, so if you get a start on it, you might actually get it. I might go for Chow Canyon. That's what I was thinking. More people there. Well, dear knowledge. Well, I technically don't even need to, because their country is converted. Yeah. But so, it, it solidifies stuff, and I think most of your cities are. Ah. Oh, Port Daniel, okay. Port Daniel, you are the next to convert. Oh, oh no, Bismarck. I swear, if you settle on World's End, I'll be so pissed. He's gonna settle right there. More where they're standing right now. And that will be worth, that will be reason worthy of war. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> really now? He settles there. I am taking over that city and renaming it. <laughs> now, you can convert barbarian cities into your own empire, but I believe you, it needs to have a population of at least two. Yeah, because otherwise they just sack it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Library, maybe. Libraries somewhere. are good. Makes our people literate. Although, literacy is not measured in this game, which un which is unfortunate. Cause yeah, because we all know the H Alliance would clearly crush everyone in literacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo my, most of my empire has There was libraries. an entire part devoted to building libraries in every city. And you, your part? Yeah. And yeah, my part, too. Although the, um... You're still building libraries. I have libraries in pretty much every city, except, I think, Port Daniel, because it's only been around for one part. Or, yeah. Alright, well, it's been Chinook. nice knowing you, Chinook. I think that's also the American. Yeah. You know, for all I know. Oh, I can't, oh, oh, you have an extra movement, but you can't double attack. Darn. You need blitz for that. I have a 91% chance of victory there. Whatever. Oh, Marcos. Oh, nice. I'll take those guys first then. Nope, they're gonna flee in the city. Or Free workers, why not, right? Ivory for... No, I can't accept that in any form, shape, or anything. Ah, right. uh, yeah. Hate that double click. Yeah, but no, you're just gonna be pissed off of me for the rest of the For time. a decent portion of the game, yes. Massive barbarians. The goths have got an army. No, there's goths too. 
They likely take the work of or it's fairy. Why? Because. <laughs> because you're doing too well, that's why. Uh... There's another city somewhere. Now you know. Yeah. Okay, well. Hey, join us! <laughs> I wonder where they're gonna. Sp they're probably gonna spawn. They're spawning there. Oh. Do I have any units who can be mobilized now? I think you have some unprotected cities. <laughs> well, you have a couple axemen in Jamestown, but. Yeah. I think. Uh, no, I think every city has people in it now. They. They. Oh, no, I don't. Huh. I just pointed that out. You're right, you? you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> You're right. You're blind, man, and I, I'm the blind one. Alright, well, I don't have to worry about... about, uh, Sitting Bull attacking me, so... Random war. <laughs> That'd be nice. That would be nice if they just sent out a warrior. No, no, just a random war. <laughs> no, I cannot do that. I'd be like, I'd laugh. I, I... Especially seeing that you're the same religion. Yeah. That would make that, no sense. <laughs> it would make no sense. And let's just see where my missionary is right now. Aha! Good sir. Good show. Good show. No? Can't do that? Next Darn. turn. Oh. oh. They just spawned That's out, a... of, out of the German city. Why and they're goss, too. <laughs> you know... Here I thought I didn't have to worry about spawning my military anymore. Well, hello. And my and my mobile units away too. Yes. Oh, and that's even funnier. You know that swordsman? Yeah. That's the city. <laughs> No. Well, you can move it back this turn. Yeah, I can. That's the advantage. Like, but yeah, they just spawned out of the aether. All right. I built a monument. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you advice. Cause yeah, I. Let's I, face it. I'm, you're gonna win this. No, not right away. Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna move you guys away from there. Yeah, I didn't have to click it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I can I can avoid the city right right now. Charge right through. Somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> and Dortmund, right in the middle. Although that's probably gonna convert to you if anything. Yeah. And they will be safe under my kit, under the horse archer's care. Now, let's find where that's what. Oh, gosh darn it. That's why I told you to move that right away. <laughs> Alright. Let me do it. I'm good with the mouse. Yeah, sure. Okay, what? What tile? Alright, Alright, uh. Let's just meet him halfway. Like. Maybe here. Nice spread. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh. Yeah, your entire civilization is. Christian, good for you. Yep. I lost the city, and and it's no particular religion is taking real hold. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I take it that's the extent of the horde, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's not too bad. And now we have the luxury of that. Uh, Confucius Temple. Anything else besides? Now, if I had workshops, that'd be glorious. <laughs> yeah. And 
Yeah, two per turn only. You know what? That's worth it. Are we all, sir? Are we all still technically under the barbar barbarism legal system? Yeah, the first one we get is in feudalism. And no one definitely has feudalism. So okay, there we go. Ironically, nationalhood is very good. Yeah. Of the three. That's what I thought. Because of the barracks, the the spy, and the ability to draft if you want to. Yeah. And it has no upkeep. And no upkeep. That's compared to the high and upkeeps of the other two. And, and free speech is good if you have universal censorship and emancipation, which go hand in hand. Yeah. Environmentalism, on the other hand, doesn't. Well, somewhat, but. Yeah. Free religion is. Is, well. Free religion. I'll just be slave owners for a little bit longer. Dun 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 dun. Yeehaw. Good old. Alright, here we go. 623. Can I call that one of the parts? And that would be. And that is part. I'll, I'll let you do your civic stuff first. Okay. Like, and then we'll just say that immediately. Yeah, are they helping me out? Maybe. They're trying to take Jan. Well, no, they get automatically um, kicked out of the border. Right. And like, well, let's or swordsman. One swordsman. They, they cost the same amount. One strong against melee units, one just is a very offensive. No. And swordsmen are slightly stronger. Yeah. Naturally. Alright. So, here. The first baseman. <laughs> Let's build an archer here. For safety's sake? Yep. Not quite. Almost. I'd put the settler in maybe Dortmund for now. Mm -hmm. Can I move them all the way with my archers? But yeah, that'll, that, that's risky. Or you can move them up towards Port Daniel and start improving that. I could, but... But you need... Do you have, yeah, Let's you call this a part. Yeah. Okay. See you next time when we figure out what we're doing. And... See ya.